There is credible evidence for life on Mars, and we're pretty close to demonstrating it conclusively. Also, life on Earth is much older than we thought, and it kind of does support panspermia, which I've never been a fan of, but we'll talk about it. You may have seen the 2024 report where Perseverance found what really looks to be fossils, fossils of microbial life on Mars. Preliminary analysis does seem to point towards organic matter, but that is all done on Perseverance. Now, there are levels of evidence that we need in order to demonstrate that, yes, it really is life. The first one is to detect a signal that's from a known biological entity and then to rule out contamination. Next, we need to be able to demonstrate or predict that the biological production of that signal came from that environment. Now, this is unfortunate. In order to get to level three, we do need to have those samples taken back to Earth or have people on Mars to analyze them. We sent a robot to Mars, and they really just can't do the job that humans can do, nor do they have all of the equipment to do it. Unfortunately, the idea that we are going to get Perseverance's samples back to Earth is unlikely at this time. They would need more equipment, more funding, and <laughs> funding is a little limited right now. But there are plans to get people to Mars in the next decade, and it's looking reasonably likely also the moon base. What we have on Earth, though, is rapidly improving methods for detecting life. And it turns out photosynthetic organisms were on Earth at least 3 billion years ago. Now let's put that into context. The Earth is 4.6 billion years old, and life popped up at least 4.1 billion years ago. And that is within the limits of what we're able to understand about life. It could absolutely be older. We just don't know because the methods aren't there. That means 600 million years is all that it took from our Earth to be a boiling pot of lava to the first life popping up. Mind you, there's the idea that oxygen had to be present, and that's not necessarily true. Oxygen was always present on Earth because it had water, and water is, you know, made of hydrogen and oxygen. But getting oxygen out of it is a little bit more complicated. Fortunately, not all life requires oxygen. There's even animals that don't need oxygen. It's very convenient because it allows us to get a lot of energy, but there's other ways for life to exist. However, there are still things that live miles below the surface of the ocean where no light can penetrate that still require oxygen. Meaning, while there can't be plants, they must get it from somewhere. Yes, there is at least some evidence that dark oxygen exists, either by radiation or other phenomena that allow water to break apart and allow animals to use it. This aside. Life on Earth is a lot older than we thought, at least 4.1 billion years old, potentially older, and photosynthetic life popped up over 3 billion years ago. That is not a very long time period in evolutionary history. Let me remind you that coal and oil only exist because microbes hadn't figured out how to break down plant matter and algae. They had to evolve the ability to do so, and because they did it, it's stacked on top of each other, giving us our rich energy source. The point is, evolution on this scale does not happen quickly, and for life to form, yeah, it's possible that it didn't come from Earth. We may even find that life on Mars might have been shared with Earth, and that is a very real consideration, and we may have answers to it once we get there. Now, here's why I don't like panspermia. I am a scientist myself, and we like to operate with Occam's razor. The simplest answer is probably the correct one. It is quite a bit more complicated to think that life came from another planet rather than just started here, especially when we know that early Earth had the right conditions to make life, to make nucleotides and amino acids and protocells. There's no necessity that it needs to come from somewhere else. However, with how early life started on this planet, it's becoming at least possible that it didn't start here. I've never liked panspermia. I just, I don't. Anyway, follow for more.